uh, Bobby. Luke, hi. What are you doing here this time of night? Oh, I got, I got to talk to you. How'd you get here on your snowshoes? No, I didn't need them. The uh, road between the disco and here is open. I caught a cab. What about the rest of the city? Well, the cab driver said it's still pretty grim. Only a few roads in the inner city are open. Oh, you're going crazy you're worrying about Monica Quartermain. Yeah. So, what do you want to talk to me about? Um, uh, my, my meeting with Mr. Smith. Apparently, the hospital is looking into disco operations, and the investigation's being done none other than by good old Dan Rooney. I know. Dan told me. He told you you didn't tell me. Don't take this so casually. Mr. Smith is very upset. Look, don't you tell me that Mr. Smith is very upset. Luke, there are a lot of people in this town right now who are in an awful lot of trouble. Monica Quartermain happens to be stranded someplace. Don't you tell me that Mr. Smith is very upset. Just lay off, okay? Bobby, I'll be in the uh, cafeteria. When you come to your senses, you take a break and come and talk to me. What are you to talking you. about take a break? Can't you understand we have an emergency situation? Look, if you want to talk to me, talk to me here, okay? Bobby, have you heard from Lieutenant Stoddard? Uh, no, uh, not yet. You want me to call the station? Yes, please, please. I uh, know he's going to get tired of hearing from me, but it's bloody important. Hi, Lieutenant Stoddard, please. Dr. Rick Weber from General Hospital. Lieutenant Stoddard speaking. Uh, this is Dr. Weber. Yes, Doctor. I was about to call you to tell you to stand by. I had a call about the snow plows. They're about to break through out there near the Quartermain residence. Oh, oh, praise the Lord. I can't let you send an ambulance out yet, though. I'll have to wait until I get the okay. Well, how soon do you think that'll be? Hold on a minute. The other phone is ringing. Yeah, all right. Stoddard here. Thanks, Sergeant. Thanks. Great. Doctor? Yes, 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 Lieutenant. Uh, well, that's the report we've been waiting for. You've got the all clear sign. Fantastic. They haven't broken through to the entrance of the Quartermain estate, but they will have by the time the ambulance gets there. Thank you. We're on our way. Can we call for an ambulance? Immediately. I will get emergency. All right. Uh, tell them that uh, Dr. Quartermain and I will be going along. And now, John, what do we need? Anything special that we should take? Yeah, well, uh, tell them to make certain to bring a portable incubator unit for the baby and uh, equipment for an emergency section in case I have to perform it at the house if Monica hasn't delivered yet. And I gave all that information to him earlier so that everything be ready, but I'd like for you to double check. I've got it. Alan, we're all set to go. Well, what are we waiting for? Nothing. Let's do it. Bobby, please, call Tracy's apartment and tell my family the news, will you? Emergency, hi. This is Miss Spencer, main floor. You have an amp? Tracy, no, it's Bobby. Spencer at the hospital. Oh, Bobby, I'm sorry. Hi. What, uh, what is it? What's going on? Tell me. Well, your brother asked me to call. The road is all clear to his house, and he and Rick Weber are on their way. They're going out there by ambulance, and Dr. Priest is going with them. Oh, Bobby, that's wonderful. Daddy, the ambulance is on its way. Oh. Thank you so much for calling us. Will you keep us posted? Oh, wait. Wait, maybe you think we... Should we come right to the hospital right now? Uh, no. Well, listen, why don't I call you when they arrive? Because it is possible that Dr. Priest might have to take the baby by section out at the house. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, then call us. And we'll be waiting for your call. Thanks, Bobby. Daddy, we gotta concentrate that they make it there in time, okay? Because I don't want anything to happen to Monica or a baby. Not like this. I know you don't, Tracy. They'll be safe soon when help arrives. Daddy, I wish I just knew that Mitch was safe. Street lights are on here. Let's hope you have electricity at your house. The oxygen level's okay. Sure it is. I only double checked everything before we left. I know. You know, I'm just trying to keep my mind occupied. That's all. Why don't you try to relax? Save your strength. Yeah, we need you out there. I hope to God you don't have to take the baby by section. Now, if we do, the circumstances won't be very good, but we will handle it. Yes, yes, of course. I just pray that it won't be necessary. John, what if Monica... John? John, run through the procedure again, with him. With me, talk to me. Will you get my mind off it, huh? Sure, I'm sure. But, uh, if we have to take the baby by us, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get Monica a little more anesthetic. So it is impossible. I can't. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Oh, all right. Take a breath. When the pain hits, hold it. 
Wonderful, Stella. I want you to put it over there near near the light socket, and I'll plug that electric uh, pad in. Does the electric pad the one with the blanket? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, put it right here, Stella. Thank you. There you go. Switch down there and the pad. There's a plug. Okay. Stella, I'm going to put this right under the blanket, and we're going to leave it on a kind of medium setting, all right? I've got the bottles ready and the water boiling in case the power goes out. Okay. It has so far. We've been lucky. Oh, well, there's a fierce wind coming across the lake. I know. Oh, phone. Thank God. That's working. It's open. Who's the main residence? This is Miss Spencer at General Hospital. It's the hospital. It's Miss Spencer. Okay. Good breath. Bobby. Bobby, it's Gail. Wonderful news, Gail. Alan and Rick are on their way, and John Priest is with them. Oh, so good. Oh, that's wonderful. How is Monica? She's going into hard labor, but maybe they'll get here in time. All of the emergency equipment that you need is on the ambulance. Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Leslie, Rick and Alan are on their way. It's wonderful that you move. Yeah. yeah Isn't well. that wonderful? Did you hear, Monica? Did you hear that, Monica? I still am. We're going to move her down to the end of the bed. You want to help me do that? Uh -huh. Okay, Monica, we've got to move down. The closer. That's a girl. Good girl. She's on the edge now. now. Is she on the edge? Right. All right, Monica, put your ankles up. That's it. There. That's pretty yeah, Now, Monica. should I stay here and help, or should I go let no, them I in? I think we can manage now, Stella. You go down, make sure that door's open so they can get it. come right up when they get it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Monica, you're just doing fine. And Alan's going to be here any minute. Okay, Monica, I'm going to do a little examination of this baby now. Oh. It looks to me like he may not wait until his daddy gets here. Okay. Gail, okay. could you get me one cc of antibiotic, please? Yes, it's all filled and ready, Leslie. Okay, that's good. Here you go. Monica, I'm going to do an episiotomy now, but first I'm going to numb the area. I want this little one to have all the help he needs coming out into this world, right? Okay, now we just have to wait a couple of minutes. And it'll be fine. You're doing real well. Doing oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. All right, I'll it's get all the right. candles. Girl, I'll get the stay candles. with it. Stay with it. Take your breath. Take your breath. That's a good girl. Oh. Take your breath. Oh, real fine. Go. Real fine. Good girl. Thank you, dear. Good girl. Leslie, you, you're going to need more direct light than this. I'll uh, get the flashlight from Stan. Take on the camera. All right, I will. Be okay. right back. Okay. All right. Okay, Monica. It's all going to be just wonderful. Your baby is about to arrive. Now, after I do this episiotomy, to give him a little help, I will give him as much as he needs. I want you to help me bring him, okay? Is that a deal? Are you listening to me? If I die. Huh? If I die. No. You're not going to die, Monica. You are not going to die. Rick. Yes, Rick is going to be here very soon. He's going to be here to help us. It's Rick. Yes. It's Rick's. It's Rick's baby. It's Rick's baby. It's his son. It's the son. Can we go any faster? No, oh, the roads are just too icy. I know. If we get there in one piece, we can't risk having an accident. God, why did this have to happen? Your son is one independent soul. Monica can't die. No. That's the house. Isn't that the house there? It's so... It's so dark. Oh, God, please help us get there. Driver, can you hurry up, please? Excuse me. I'm Eddie. Monica. Monica, stop talking. Now, you just listen to me and you do what I say. You've got to help me deliver this baby because we don't have any time yeah, to wait for help. Come on, push. push. Will you stay with Monica. Wipe her forehead, hold okay. her hand. Just Good try girl. and keep her comfortable. Good girl. Now let okay. it go. 
Let her go. Be pissy on me, Leslie. Right now, I'm doing it right now. Let me see. There. Okay, now give me a good push. Come Here on, comes Monica. the baby. Come on, I'm push, boy. Push, Monica, Come on, push. Boy. Help You're your doing mama. fine. Your baby's coming. Come on, boy. Now, Here we go. Oh. Good boy. Good coming. push, Monica. Little boy's Three. coming. Good. Here he comes. Dr. Weber. Good. I think she's fainted. It's okay. I've got him. Oh, all right, Stella, hold the flashlight. That's it, Monica. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Oh, boy. Monica. Here we go. Monica, I'm going to put there a towel on your stomach, and Leslie's going to put there your little go. baby right on your stomach. Okay. Oh, Here's your baby, Monica. There, look, Monica. He's fine, and he's breathing on oh, his own. He sure is. You can have and I'm tying the cord now. All right. All right. You did a good job. Very good. Oh, Monica, he's beautiful. He's Perfect. You got every okay. way. Oh, take him to the incubator. Oh. oh, the doctor's coming. Doctor Quartermain's coming. Stella, Stella, take them the flashlight. They may need it. Yes. Leslie, Leslie, you must be exhausted. Go and rest. I'll take over here. Go on. All right. She's perfect. Oh, I love you. Monica. Monica. She's all right, Alan. The baby's alive. There's an incubator. Is he all right? Yeah. I'll get him downstairs to the incubator, the portable one. Beautiful little boy. I'll go down. Get the baby. How did you do all this with the lights up? Dr. Weber did it all, sir. Stella, go, go and check, check on the baby. I'll be there in a minute. Yes, I will. Leslie, you did one fine job tonight. I did what I could. Are you still alive? Maybe we got here in time. Let's just hope and pray we did. What's it coming, John? Nice. I told you I loved you, didn't I? No. You haven't told me. Thank you.